Well then, Venom 2, or if you're feeling fancy enough, Venom, There Will Be Carnage. Dumb name, by the way, but... is a sequel to the next year's movie Venom, which, is being re which was originally set to be released in October, but sadly was pushed back until June of uh, next year. Which means I'll have plenty of time to keep everything nice and polished. This far. And like a fat kid at a pizza party, I want more. More content, I mean. Venom 1 had pretty strong parts to it, but also it was mainly flawed, which I'll be covering along in this video. Carnage. Oh, Carnage, you lovable flesh eating serial killer monstrosity. Carnage had yet to make a debut and was in the talks for movies, but he had yet to appear in one until now. During the mid credit scene of Venom, he showed up in his glorious insanity and his iconic curls, but it didn't exactly show much of him either. I hope they treat this character with dignity in this, for example, not making him one dimensional villain with literally no motivation. Talking about you. Yeah, you. Keep in mind, Sony is a literal devil and likes to interfere with everything, seen in drastically in Spider Man 3 and The Amazing Spider Man 4, which ruined the characters for that story and devolving them into a mush of one dimensional character based. Though, they gotten a lot of backlash from this, seeing people's reactions to their interference, but Sony is as smart as two sponges being rubbed together, so only the future can tell. Speaking of Sony interference, okay, now hear me out on this one. I don't really have much of an explanation for this one. Andrew Garfield, the man, the myth, someone decent actor. <laughs> I've been wanting him to see come back for a bit of a long time now. Uh, especially since MCU Spidey has taken the scene a bit more drastically at the moment. And while this is somewhat loosely connected to MCU, sort of, just ruins the chances of, of this. But Andrew Garfield would make a perfect fit for this movie. A nice way to wrap up this character arc, which was lost in the third movie. And seeing that Venom somewhat follows up the Evasion Experiment 2, uh, the formula would fit somewhat right at home. A bit more than actual, <laughs> and more bit... A bit more than the actual home Spider-Man, aka Tom Holland. With great director Annie Serkis at the helm, I feel this would be a solid movie. Maybe it could be better than the first, but Venom was a fun movie showing reviewers that reviewers can't really have fun with movies anymore. Keep in mind, this wasn't a good movie, but at the same time, it isn't a bad one. So I truly wish for tight writing and good directing. Weird way to start.